when you park your bike, you just cover your uh, seat with this um, garbage bag. So it's sort of like camouflage and it basically looks like garbage. So then people won't steal your seat. It's a pro tip. Someone taught me this when I first moved to New York. My name is Josh Cochran, and I work as an illustrator in Brooklyn, New York. I prefer painting by hand or working by hand generally. It feels a lot more immediate. I like to keep sketchbooks. A lot of times when I get bored or if I'm trying to pass time, I just have my sketchbook with me and I'm drawing people all the time. I've been drawing a lot of shelves. I wasn't really sure what that series was really about, but I think um, it comes from quite a bit of me moving a lot as a child. Growing up in uh, Taipei and also Los Angeles and also New York, I've been in big cities all my life, and so this is something that I'm very familiar with. I think uh, the best inspiration for me is usually from places that I don't expect it to come from. Being here in such a chaotic city as New York, it's really, really nice to find inspiration literally around every corner. I love riding my bike, and I think that is one of the best ways of getting around here in Brooklyn. This is Clinton Hill. I like it because it's sort of family neighborhood, but it's also like there's a lot of uh, art students here. Pratt University, which is a well-known New York art school, is right across the street from where I live, and it's a good mix of people here. It's not just, uh, you know, rich white people. It's like a good, good mix. We're going to my neighborhood bodega. It's called Paradise Deli. There's pretty much everything here. It's kind of the best place. You can also buy 40 ounce. It's in a lot of rap songs. It's like beer, but it's quite uh, strong. Hey man, uh, chopped cheese on a roll with everything. Uh, New York chopped cheese, which is uh, um, kind of an off-menu sandwich that's only available um, in New York bodegas. Ooh. So good. Here in Brooklyn, there's quite a bit of street art that's happening. Sometimes uh, there's, there's people that even paint on the sidewalks, so you sort of have to keep your eyes open. This is the mural of Old Dirty Bastard, which is one of the late members of the Wu-Tang Clan. When I first moved to New York, this was uh, probably one of the first murals I saw. Since I moved here, they've actually repainted this once. Before, it was really messed up. The fact that someone has come back and repainted it shows how much that the community loves this mural and how much they love this as a neighborhood uh, landmark.